Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for February 7th, 2024. Welcome to Shredding La Belle Tarot. I hope you guys are well and safe today. Just keep in mind, Virgo, that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, so this message may not resonate with everyone. Just take the parts that do resonate for yourself and leave the rest for someone else. Also keep in mind that my readings are timeless, so it doesn't matter when this reading comes across your platform, whenever it does come into your energy is whenever it is meant for you, okay? All right, let's get right to it. Um, spirit guides, God angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael, show me the cards that I need to see for... Virgo today, please. I don't know why. <laughs> it took me a minute to be able to get that one, so. Spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael. Show me the cards that I need to see for Virgo today, please. Show me the cards that I need to see. Show me the cards that I need to see, please. Okay, let's see what's up. What I want, two, three, four. Let me get one more four, please. One, two, three, four. Okay. All right, in the past, Virgo, we have the Six of Swords, okay? So Six of Swords is representational of moving on from something chaotic to something that is calmer, okay? Some kind of, like, calmer waters here. Um, it does represent, like, leaving in something of, like, a hurry, okay? Like there is, I don't know, some kind of moving on quickly here from someone or something here, all right? For those of you that are new to the channel, I use a book by Dusty White called The Easiest Way to Learn the Tarot Ever. I do know what the cards mean. I just use, it as a, use this as a quick reference guide, okay? Six of Swords, Journey by Water. This could be a move or a vacation, but, giving, but given the nature of the suit of swords, this would more often point to an escape or separation from an abusive spouse, for example, or a relocation from a poor economy to other harsh environments or other harsh environments to safer, to safer locales. This card is similar to the Eight of Cups, except that aside from a journey over water versus land, this image implies leaving in something of a hurry and things left behind. In the Eight of Cups, the man has set his affairs in order before skipping town. Here, the woman did not even have time to pack. The symbolism of the mother and the child alone suggests leaving without a spouse, okay? So you guys could have been moving on from someone, leaving somewhere, moving in general, maybe going on a trip, okay? Not really getting that too much, but clarify Six of Swords for Virgo in the past, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, show me the cards that I need to see. One, one, two, three, four. Let me get one more. One, two, three, four, okay. All right, yeah, there was a separation here from a loved one, okay? Um, this is more, this is looking more of like a romantic love relationship. We don't have that necessarily, Virgo, but we have the Ten of Cups in the reversal and the Two of Cups in the reversal. So this is someone uh, that either you had a lot of love for or had a family with, okay? Um, for some of you, it might be a partnership, um, but if there was a partnership here, this is more of like someone that really wanted you and you didn't want them. Okay, or something like that going on, but there was definitely some control going on here or someone trying to dominate you, okay? Ten of Cups reversed. Broken dreams, illusion of happiness, disruption of the home, loss of security or home ownership, broken marriages, and dysfunctional families, okay? Two of Cups reversed. Trouble in paradise, a separation, two people going their own way or, or refusing to hear each other out. Compassion dissolves into bitterness, spurned love, rejection. If coupled with the Three of Swords, this card reversed specifically indicates infidelity. We don't have the Three of Swords here, not with this deck, okay? But um, with the Ten of Cups and the Two of Cups, Virgo, you might have been dealing with a water sign for some of you. All right, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, all right. Strength card, reverse. This is the domination. This is the card of like someone trying to dominate you or some kind of domination happening like with alcohol or drugs or something like that being like controlled by a substance, all right. But this is, with this situation, it's the other person trying to control you, okay? That's what I'm getting. Or they were feeling like you were trying to control them, but I'm really getting that it was this person trying to control you, okay? 
except here now you get to be mr lion occasionally this card reversed will show being dominated we hear that some people are actually into that but not just by a woman this could be an alcohol food sex or drug addiction okay other times it will show weakness fear hesitancy or running away from issues okay so someone might have just been running away from some kind of issues here but I'm getting that you were getting away from a situation where you had to separate from someone because they were trying to dominate you or control you in some kind of way, Virgo. Okay. Clarify this past situation for Virgo, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, show me the cards I need to see. Let me get one more four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Queen of Swords. Okay. Two of Cups in the upright. Okay. Your clear communication expresses what is best for all, okay? With the Two of Cups on the upright, open your heart and receive love from others. So I feel like that's what someone's wanting you to do, okay? Um, I feel like someone doesn't understand how you are or what you want here, Virgo. I feel like they're, I feel like the issue here is the other person's trying to control you, okay? They're trying to dominate you, but I feel like you're having a hard time explaining to them how you're seeing it and why you feel that way, okay? Let me get one more. No, let's get two more. Two more cards to clarify this past situation for Virgo, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. One, two, three, four. I feel like the, I mean, the real issue is even if you tried to explain it, they wouldn't, um, they wouldn't, what's it called? They wouldn't be hearing you out. They wouldn't hear what you have to say. Okay. Two of Wands, believe in your personal power. You're dealing with someone with like some double energy here. Okay. That's why this person doesn't see the negative. This person doesn't know how to look in the mirror, whoever you're dealing with here. Okay. You are only limited by what you believe is possible, okay? Bondage, materialism, obsession, chains, shadow self, repression, and powerlessness. Okay, so this is like an energy of just like, this is like being 2246, 2246. This is like you being seen or you being shown, not seen. You. This is like you being shown that you don't have to deal with this if you don't want to. You can be decisive and get away from this energy, which is what I feel like that you're doing here, Virgo, okay? I feel like you're coming to the realization that you don't need to be around this, okay? In the present, we have the Nine of Wands and the Reversal, okay? This is like the card of the Wounded Warrior, but in the reverse, okay? In the reverse, it says, Weakness of character, shifty and shifting alliances, someone who tries to evade responsibility or even deserts outright, fear of standing up for what is most important to yourself or your needs, escapism, okay? So why don't we have nine of wands here? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, clarify nine of wands. One, two, three, four. Let me get one more. One, two, three, four. Okay. Page of swords in the reversal. Seven of cups. Okay. And the ace of swords. I feel like this is someone. This is how someone is perceiving you. They're seeing you as this weak person or weakness of character. Someone that just like, I don't know, goes to wherever the water flows or something like goes wherever your emotions are going. Okay. Um, the thing is here, Virgo, is that the person, the reason this person feels this way is because they are trying to dominate you, as we have seen here in the past. Okay. What you're doing, what you're actually doing is um, looking at what options that you do have and working towards that because you know that you have a victory coming in for yourself after you get away from this person, okay? Page of Swords reversed. Let's see what's that. What is that? What is that? This implies a self-righteousness or demeaning manner, poor communications, ill-chosen words leading to arguments, impatience, demotion, evisceration, irrationality, brat, okay? Um, if you're younger than this person, this is how they're perceiving you, okay? If they're younger than you, it could be how you're perceiving them, okay? Which is probably rightfully so, okay? Um, think about the Seven of Cups here, and I do feel like I need to mention this, Virgo, is with the Seven of Cups here, this is a card of having options, but you're not going to have these options forever, okay? This is like a, there's a time limit here, okay? So, I mean, it literally states that in the book, which is why I feel the need to say it. You have opportunities and possibilities before you. The world is at your feet, whether you know it or not. And you may even be overwhelmed by the choices you face now, but a choice is called for and the clock is ticking. This is a very fortunate card as you have options, but the pressure on you to choose and act may be overwhelming. Take a deep breath, do some quick, re do some quick research, decide what you want, decide what you want most from life right now and strike while the iron is still hot. 
If you wait too long, the moment will pass and the opportunity may be gone. Choose, but choose wisely. It's like you have the opportunity at this time to break out of this cycle with this person, place, or thing that's been trying to dominate you and control you, okay? And that will be a victory for you if you do it, okay? Ace of Swords is a card of a victory, so. This card predicts victory against any obstacle and dominance over all adversaries through aggression. It is hard to imagine any tarot card being more phallic or more metaphysically worshipful of the male anatomy. God himself decrees virility, uh, in the, which is in a man, the quality of having strength, energy, and a strong sex drive or manliness could be a woman, doesn't have to be a man above all else, okay? This card indicates the rise of a new order, a new power or leader, usually by force or force of will. It also foretells the onset of conquest, challenges issued, macho displays of testosterone and righteousness. This card further reveals a lack of fear that is downright religious in its zeal. This is a very powerful card to have on your side. As a result, it shows a decisive victory. Clarify this present situation for Virgo, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Let me get one more four. One, two, three, four. There we go. Eight of Wands in the reversal. The star in the reversal. Okay. Eloquent, untrustworthy, insolent, theft, oppressive, dispute, jealousy, dis delays, and frustration. The star reverse, unfulfilled hopes, disappointment, pessimism, doubt, and despair. Okay, if this is you, Virgo, you need to, uh, I would recommend, Virgo, to keep in mind that energy flows to where attention goes, okay? So if you're paying attention to anything that is not working out for you, okay, things will continually not work out for you, okay? I'm not getting that this is you, Virgo. It could be very well the other person, but just in case it is you, I would keep that in the back of my mind, okay? If you're focusing on things that didn't work out, things will probably continue to not work out because you're focusing on it. Figure, like, look at everything that has worked out for you, okay? Take a look at the past, look at everything that has worked out here for you, okay? And figure out what you want and where you're going and move towards that, okay? We have the Two of Wands in the past here and we have the Two of Wands in the future which is like a perfect example here, Virgo, of you almost getting out of a cycle, all right, for some reason getting stuck in it, okay, and then having to repeat the cycle, and now at the, um, in the future here, at some point, you have the ability to break out of the cycle again. You have like a new opening, a new opportunity to work your way out of this. You just have to do something differently, okay? If in the past something happened here and you almost got out of it and then you started thinking like, oh my God, like, this, this didn't work out in the past, this, you know, this isn't going to work out now, then that's what's going to happen, okay? The Hermit, this is a Virgo energy, okay, most definitely. All life's answers are within you, so it's time to look in yourself and figure out what you want. It's time to focus on yourself and what you want here. Wisdom, sol solitude, inner truth, divine inspiration, and enlightenment, okay? You're going to be enlightened about something here, okay? Whatever this is, Virgo, I know that this is going to work out for you. You just have to know within yourself that it's going to work out for yourself as well, okay? In the future, we have the Two of Wands, okay? For some of you, this could be a new... Um, this is a card of planning, okay? Planning on something, okay? Two of Wands does also represent, like, uh, some kind of new start whenever it comes to a relationship or love or something like that. It's not going to be for all of you, but this is something here that you are definitely planning or planning or working towards or something, okay? This is a card of beginning and calculated risks, but instead of the spark of creativity or a burst of energy as seen in the ace, this energy is a carefully planned effort to create a favorable outcome. Excuse me. This is the card of planning, coordinating, the will applied to physical action, the law of attraction being applied. This is a card of doing and waiting. Results will come later. Right now, plan carefully and act decisively. Gather allies and support if you can as well. Clarify this future situation for Virgo, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Let me get one more. Four, one, two, three, four. Okay. Sun card in the upright. King of Cups in the reverse. And the Page of Wands in the reverse. Okay. You're planning on something that is bringing you towards happiness. Okay. Some kind of victory or happiness. I'm pretty sure it's happiness. <laughs> okay. About 90% sure, actually. All right. Success, usually after struggle. More specifically, energy and intent is being offered to you from various sources. This can be divine intervention, creative inspiration, 
physical assistance from others, loans of any sort, sound advice, etc. You are in the spotlight. People and things are looking to help you at this time, but you must be alert to opportunity and aid if you are to accept the goodies in store for you. Destiny is an opportunity, not a guarantee. Never forget that, okay? So with this planning that you're doing here in the future, Virgo, you're going to have the opportunity to be successful, okay? You're going to have different doors opening up for you. As long as, like I said, in the present, you focus on what is what it is that you want and start working towards that, okay? You are going to have someone in your energy that is very unhappy about this, okay? You're going to be having someone, I feel like it's this person from the past that you let go of, okay? Someone's going to be like, I can't believe that you're successful without me or something like that. Okay. <laughs> you got some kind of wire baby in here. All right. Um, we have the page of wands as well, which means you might have another person that's younger than you, uh, that's upset about this or something, but you might also just have kids with the person or have kids in general, maybe with the page of wands, but it's in the reversal. So unhappy news, suddenly arguments, unruly children, mild danger, if regarding any of the employment, employment listed above, problems with pregnancy or small children, rebel or minor rebellion, also impotence, okay? Clarify this future situation for Virgo, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is this talking about? Let me shuffle this again one more time. So you definitely have uh, someone that's very upset about it, but you have the Page of Wands reversed as well, which that is kind of confusing, okay? I'm just going to put this back in here because I don't know which way it was now. All right. Clarify this future situation for Virgo, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Clarify. Let me get one more four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Justice in the reverse. Okay. Five of Cups. And the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. So... The reason you have some people upset is because someone in your energy, all right, with the Five of Cups, it could be a Scorpio or possibly another water sign, Pisces, Cancer, okay, or the Scorpio here. Um, you have someone that has not let go of something that did not work out for them, okay? It says, feel your grief, but know that things will be better, okay? Grief, loss, self-pity, despair, disappointment, disillusionment, fear of risk, and mourning, Justice card in the reverse, bias, false accusations, injustice, intolerance, irresponsibility, and dishonesty, okay? And then the Knight of Pentacles in the reversal, it's still the same person, okay? Lack of courage, avaricious, jealous, grasping, unreliable, obsession with work, and stubborn. I feel like you got someone here that's not letting go of this, all right? Emotionally, they are not over it yet, okay? They feel like justice has not worked out for them. And they're trying to do everything that they can in order to focus on something else other than this, which is why the, you know, what's it say? Obsession with work card, you know, Knight of Pentacles reverse. So let me get one more card to pull, pull this future situation together for Virgo, please. <clears throat> one more card to pull this together for Virgo, please. One, two, three, four. Yeah, if someone's feeling very left out in the cold by you. Okay, life is hard right now. Look around. Help is at hand. Insecure, hardship, poverty, loss of money or position, toil, harshness, need, lack of resources. Okay, someone's feeling like they they don't know what to do now that this situation is not working out in their favor anymore. I'm not getting as you. It should be someone that's in your energy. You would know who this person is, okay? Let's get Big Bubba Mac to clarify some of the situation for you, Virgo, okay? Big Bubba Mac, Spirit Guides, God, Angels, Ancestors, Archangel Michael. Show me the cards that I need to see for Virgo today, please. Show me the cards that I need to see for Virgo today. One, two, three, four. We have seed or seeds, okay? You could be planting some seeds here now in the present, Virgo, all right? For some of you, you're like literally like a planter or someone that has a garden or something like that. But something about planting seeds here, one, two, three, four. We have crown chakra, okay? You have something that is like you know what you need to know. You know what you need to do or know which way you need to go here, okay? You have someone that might be trying to block your crown chakra saying like, you can't do this without me or something like that, okay? But you know what's up. You know where you need to do. You know where you need to go, okay? What else? One, two, three, four. Car or truck. Something about a car or truck is significant, okay? You might be getting a new car or truck. You might be getting yours worked on. I'm picking up something about a license, okay, as well. Something about license is significant for some of you. What else? One, two, three, four. 
hate. You could be feeling hateful towards someone or someone's feeling hateful towards you, Virgo, or something about hate is significant here. What else? One, two, three, four. Life force, okay? Something about your life force, okay? Something about your life force. You got somebody that's like draining your life force or something like this, okay? You need to build it back up. What else? One, two, three, four. We have happy, okay? You could be feeling happy right now or you're gonna be happy at some point. You have, you have happiness coming in for you as soon as you let go of something here, okay? What else? One, two, three, four. Bubba Listen, okay? Every time I get a Listen card, I pull three cards from the back. So somebody's being happy here, Virgo, and someone else is getting sad about it. It's like someone's happiness brings someone else sadness, okay? Which is weird. It's like someone feels like if you're not happy with them, then you're not allowed to be happy. We have excitement. You could be excited about something or someone, or someone is excited about you, or something about excitement is going on here. We have succulent. You might be uh, getting... You're dealing with someone that could be draining your energy, number one. Number two, you could be someone that owns succulent plants. I just got two yesterday from Succulent Studios. This is one of them. Okay, this is the other one. Succulent Studios is a really awesome website. I would check it out if I were you. Okay, but you're dealing with someone, or you could be dealing with someone that drains your energy. One, two, three, four. Oh, wait. I'm supposed to pull one more from the back. Okay, I got pay attention. Every time I get listen or pay attention, I pull three cards from the back. So sacral chakra, you're working or you're dealing with someone that's working out of a low chakra here, Virgo. Okay. Marriage. This could be someone that you're married to. Okay. Or someone wants to be married to you or something about marriage is significant here. And anger. Okay. You could be feeling a lot of anger towards this person or vice versa. That might, they might be very angry with you. Okay. Let's get a message from the Ancestors Oracle card before we close out today. Ancestors, Spirit Guides, God, Angels, Archangel Michael. Show me the cards that I need to see for Virgo today, please. Show me the cards that I need to see for Virgo today. One, two, three, four. Let me get one more. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's it. This is it right here. Mineral and solidness, okay? Mineral and solidness. Let's read it. What are your ancestors trying to say to you today through me drawing this card? Oh. I must be up at the front. There we go. Okay. They're saying, it's time to survey what is solid in your life and what isn't and make adjustments as necessary. Are your personal boundaries solid or porous? Do you need to make a stand with others who tend to intrude on your personal space? Or are your boundaries so rigid that you don't let anyone in? Do a further check-in with your relationships. Are they solid and dependable, trustworthy? <clears throat> How about yourself and your relationships? Do you stand by your friends? Are you sometimes too solid, impermeable, unable, or unwilling to speak your truth or express your authentic feelings? It's also important to solidify your relationship with spirit to release your doubt and restore your faith. Make a list of the areas where you need to remain firm and strong and those where you could be softer and more pliable, okay? So it's time to take a check in with your relationships, okay? Figure out which ones are good for you, which ones are bad, and make adjustments as necessary. All right, Virgo, this is going to be the end of your reading for today. Thank you all so much for the new likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. Thank you for the people that have reached out to me for personal readings and for the people that donate to the channel. Anything you need to know about me will be in the description box below. Also, I do Virgo readings every single Wednesday, so make sure to come back next Wednesday for a new reading from myself. Love you guys, keep your head up, keep moving forward, and as always, love yourself first.